Today I'm making everyone's favorite fox from Five Nights at Freddy's. I'll start by making a wire armature and I'll secure the hands with UV resin. This holds surprisingly well as long as you enforce it later. Then I'll cover the wire with Sculpey Bacon Bond and add polymer clay on top. Foxy is an animatronic, so I'll start by making the base skeleton first. Most of it will be covered, so I don't need to add any crazy details, but making it first will make it easier to make the suit later. The metal feet are very visible, so I'll add the most detail to those. There's like a thousand different versions of Foxy, so if I don't tell you which one I'm making, I can pretend I didn't mess up any of the details. But I'm sure someone will let me know if I did anyway. This fox is also a pirate, so he gets a hook on one of his arms. To make things easier later, I baked the clay and painted all the metal in a gunmetal grey. Once dried, I can start adding the fox suit on top. Foxy has seen better days and needs repairs though. So once done with the base shape, I will be cutting into the suit and ripping it in some places, revealing the metal below. He also gets what looks like a pair of underwear, but it's actually part of his pants. And then said pants that have been shredded to shorts. The arms get the same treatment of adding the base shape and then adding damage to it. To smooth out the clay, I'm going over it with isopropyl alcohol. His left hand is completely exposed, so it's just a metal skeleton. I'm using cos clay for this more fragile part. The body is done, so it's time to make the face. I'll start with the upper part by shaping his facial hair and adding a snout. One of his eyes is exposed, but it's kind of droopy. And the other one is covered with an eye patch, like any good pirate, of course. He also gets some eyebrows, nose, and freckles. And of course, can't forget his three pieces of hair. The head gets stuck onto the body, and I added his ears. Foxy also gets a nice set of teeth. They are pretty sharp compared to the other characters in the game. After baking, I'll add the lower jaw, and now all I see when I look at him is the pun husky. And if you know the meme, congrats, you are also old. The paint job is nothing too exciting, Foxy gets covered in all red, and then the chest and snout get a lighter tone. The pants get covered in a brown-orange color. A bit of dark red for the eyebrows and freckles, and black for the eye patch and nose. I 
I'm painting his teeth and eyeball white. But then also adding some gold teeth. Why? <laughs> because he's a pirate, of course. I then added that same gold for his eye as well. Since he is old and broken, I will go over everything with a black wash and do a very poor job at wiping it off. Now for the base. I'll cover a piece of wood with Sculpey Bacon Bond so the clay sticks and then cover it with clay. Cut off the excess and draw in some tiles like in the game. I'll use a ruler first to help me draw them on properly. I'll mark where I want Foxy to stand, bake it, and paint it black. I could have and should have taken a bigger brush for this, but I don't always use my brain. I did here though, when I decided to paint only 4 tiles white instead of 5. Everything is old and dirty, so I'll wipe some grey paint on a paper towel and add that to the tiles. And then do it again with a lighter grey. Of course, can't forget the black wash. And then also a brown one to make it extra grimy. I'll glue on Foxy with two part epoxy glue, and that's it. Thank you to my newest patron, Edward Mills, and of course, all the other lovely people who support me on Patreon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!